Word, what's up everybody? Thought I would uh, come to you guys and give y'all a quick little update on the 2010 Beater Lexus. We got, a, we got some trucks here today. I got uh, my grandpa's truck that my aunt bought. My aunt that owns the Beater Lexus, her son's driving it. I've got my dad's old white 150 and then my cousin from Atlanta's here in her old Buick. But uh, I haven't done an update video, I don't know, a few months on this one. So I thought I'd do a, just a little mileage check update. Um, if you're new to the channel, I've got a series of videos on this car. I picked this thing up at a dealer auction. It was, a, uh, I believe, a Natalie Lexus trade-in. And uh, we lovingly refer to it as the Beater Lexus because when I got it, well, you can see the bum spot there. The mirror was taped on. Uh, the bumper was hanging off. <laughs> uh, we still have the, the big crack down here in the bottom of the bumper. Uh, I've been looking on eBay. Zip ties is holding this whole thing together. I've been looking on eBay for a good used bumper. But this one was a little rough, but it was only a two owner. Um, but it had uh, lots of wear from pets. The previous owner had pets, which is okay because my aunt has pets. She has a couple of dogs. And, uh, you know, it's just a good old beater Lexus. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just spilled my whole freaking water in a cup holder. Damn. Damn. That's going to leave a mark, huh? Son of a bitch. Oh, well, shit. Well, where's our damn circles? Why is it just that pit? Anyway. Let's do a little mileage check and go for a ride. This thing, even though it's rough around the edges, it hits the road like a million bucks, man. Of course, the steering wheel's all cockeyed on us. We got some full tank of gas. Let's go somewhere. Hang on, trip. Trip. There we go. 182,977. Almost 183,000. And man, I mean, I don't need to say it because I've said it over and over. This thing runs like a brand new car. Those, those struts are getting weak. I need to go on eBay and order her some struts. I mean, seriously? Did a vibration test. Very little, very little. Man. She still runs awfully good, y'all. But... She is a little bit of a cosmetic special, as I have mentioned before. Let's take her for a little ride, see how she's doing. These little videos not only give y'all a little updates, but it kind of helps my aunt out too, because, uh, you know, she likes to stay on top of things with her car maintenance wise um so it gives me to drive it and see if i notice anything that might be you know sounding peculiar or anything acting up oh and i didn't put on my seat belt okay let's pause and put on the seat belt She's a 
runner. Always has been. Sounds so good, too. I've mentioned in past videos when I compare this car to the 06 LS430. I always tend to gravitate towards this car as my favorite driver. There's just something about it. Uh, I think it's just the nimbleness, lighter on its feet. It seems a little quicker. Um, but then again, when I hop in the LS430, I'm like, oh man, I love this car too. Something about the big rear wheel drive. Um, it's a little smoother, a little quieter, even though it's older. But uh, I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough call for me. I, I always, uh, always have a hard time t trying to really decide which one I like better. But I, I'm still gonna. All, I'm still gonna kind of say ES350 for the win, even though the following for the uh, LS430 is huge. Look at me, I'm gonna pull right out in front of this guy. He's probably thinking, what the hell? And here we go. Oh my God, literally wheel hop. And to have this much, uh, you know, a fair amount of power, this car does not really have any torque steer. I mean, it might have just a tiny hint but, uh, you know, it holds pretty straight, especially considering I was spinning the tire, so. She's always very quiet, keeps you very comfortable with her posh, well-broken-in amenities. <laughs> so yeah, 2010 ES350, 100 and Let's just call it 183. Still running good. Still no problems. We bought this car at auction about three years ago with 138,000 miles on it. And it's been a good one. Just tires, brakes, oil changes. And I bought a uh, new mirror from a Lexus dealer in Texas sold it to me for $60 painted to match this car. I couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, no, no repairs or anything. So I bought a little thing of touch up paint. Um, now I could use the seats could use redoing as you can see, you know, they could use some recovering, especially the driver's seat or some patches. But, uh, for the money we paid for this and, you know, the miles, you know, she's getting out of it. Man, this is a hell of a car all day long. Y'all like, uh, subscribe and comment. I appreciate it when people comment. Y'all have a good weekend, and we will see you guys with the next one. Peace.